Hi, come on in. I think Gemini as a sun sign is really accepting uh, people for what they are. Especially lately. And expecting things for what they are. Everybody in your little community, stick around. We're going to do a tarot reading and see what spirit has to say with you know, for Gemini as a collective, there's a tedious moment that can lead to tedious things for you this month. Tedious. I'm hearing the word tedious. So let's go ahead and. Gemini, because, you know, like if you're a genius type of an individual, then yeah. tedious. It would inevitably be tedious, right? Oh, I'm in your head right now. <laughs> What's going on? All right. Good deal. Seven of Wands. We've grown a little bit, but it's kind of an every everyday, the everyday battle. You know, what is that? Groundhog Day, 51st dates. In the recent past, we see judgment. There's that. How we accept the routine. And here we see the Six of Cups having to do with looking back at the past. How, f how much, how, f how we fought. And it's like now, I think with that judgment in the recent past in the Six of Cups, it looks to me like we accept that routine, right? It's a carriage, it's a horse, it's a breed, it's a drive. What about a carriage, a horse, a breed, or a drive? Because it's very frequent. I think that we're feeding something. And very well could be feeding another human being, um, feeding an animal, feeding a drive, driving a lot, a horse, normal for us, not always normal for society. What goes with the Six of Cups in your current energy, please? Gemini. What's going on for Gemini? Judgment. It's judgment is all about how we do things. It's about standards. The star. Someone is not relating to someone very well. Currently, we could be saying we're not related. And the Nine of Pentacles but in reverse, someone very uncomfortable. I think somebody here is very uncomfortable. Because see, that's that tediousness. That's that tediousness. Star in reverse. This is where we see ourselves coming and going. So, Gemini Sun in 7th house, mid-January 2024. I think uh, we have someone who is dealing with your 
your sidekick, this be your roomie, somebody homeboy. Right there, somebody's homeboy. It's a good match. It's a good team. But there's this competitiveness with judgment and the star in reverse. I see a competitiveness calling on someone to have the strength of will. There we go. Thank you, sir. All right. We're good. Yeah. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay. Jim, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this is going to be where um, somebody does not come forward with their feelings. You just would rather let these folks in this situation, you accept people for who they are. So we have the Eight of Swords, but in reverse. Yes, letting it work itself out, letting them work it out. But this is about those relationships. Exactly, honey. This about those relationships. Cancer, Scorpio. Cancer says... I don't feel why. Somebody doesn't feel comfortable. And one thing that I think you know, and I wish that we could tell these other people, is that people come along for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. This looks like a season. I think somebody who is likely to make a quick entrance and leave, a young adult, but this is exactly that Gemini empathy with great understanding, so in January, it's all about relationships. All right, give us a little more, okay? What's going on with that judgment? Don't trust. Don't trust. Looking back, looking back, we shouldn't have trust him. Uh, looking back, I should have known. And so, you know, I think this is one of those things where with the nine of pentacles in reverse, again, just if there is something that we are uncomfortable with, the will of fortune, the devil, and this king of cups. So we have people around Gemini in January. There's a lot of emotions and there's a lot of, um, wow. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of good times, too, though. So, again, there you are. The King of Cups, keeping very much your emotions in check. I think you are. And I think that you will be able to continue to indulge in good times. So, it's all looking good on the home front for you all when you're dealing with this and face of focusing in the same direction. You and your partner are, you and your closest people are. There is something around that somebody, the Knight of Cups in reverse, who doesn't feel uh, like uh, something, and we believe in them, whatever it is. They believe in you. So your people believe in you, though. 
there's there's a, a distant a distinctness it's very distinct connection because we have same 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 energy or I mean rather why do I keep saying that I energy 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 same signs water cancer Scorpio Pisces namely cancer and Pisces here looking good very very diverse there's a distinctness but it's a diversity in how we love them just the same somebody here just loves them just the same something about even though there is somebody who lives a life where at you know, the wheel Check this out. Coming in. That is unable to do for themselves. The Knight of Cups in Reverse. This is empathy. The Eight of Swords, but in reverse. This is balance. Justice here. Uh, isn't on the table, but that's it. That's in the stars for you. And your own little community, Gemini. So, y'all, so good at being conventional, but, but accepted conventions is more what it is. It's like, not for everybody, you know, and, 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 and it's interesting how the devil came up for that because I think, again, this is, a reason, a season, and a lifetime. And this season came. And then y'all just got like, okay, now what do we do? We're not doing anything. I'm not feeling it. I'm chopping heads. I'm happy about it. I'm going to have... A drink and celebrate. I'm going to do whatever it is that I want to do. I'm trying to say this lovingly so I don't say anything incriminating. <laughs> but remember here, if you're paying close enough attention, it is the devil here. So let's clarify why that devil's there and get some in advice or some inspiration for our Gemini viewer, please. What do you see? What do I see? I see in, okay, so in the Eight of Cups, since it was in reverse, I'm calling a f festivity. Festivity. Let's just say a little drinky poo. And if you are a recovering alcoholic or an addict and that's not that, then this is that person who, y'all, like, it's a few people removed from your little inner circle. Or there's just, like, one bad apple in the circle. So, after y'all checked out their background check in judgment. This other person. See, I wish I would have started out with that because I know that person's here too. But it's all, it, it's it's who, how you deal with it. It's, it's these people. So you're good, right? And you're celebrating. <laughs> and you're getting down like the devil went down to Georgia. This is devil went down to Georgia. Okay. All right, come on, spirit. What goes with the devil, please? All right. Please and thank you. Yeah, these two women. Um, <laughs> the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups shows up. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups shows up. Lord have mercy, y'all. The Knight of Pentacles 
and the Ace of Cups, right? Yeah, so y'all like, I'm gonna love me, and you, and you, and you. Because that right there is like the blitz of people and so you got some people who are not feeling it. Then you get some people who are like, they don't want somebody else around. But this other woman here, she does. She don't. She, okay, so they're just not willing. Somebody around you, they're very clashing. Yeah, and so... I think this is you coming in. It could be dealing with two older women. There's an age difference. It could be the other way around. Yeah, in your little community. And so the Knight of Pentacles is the one who has, it's like I have this disability. And so when y'all get tired of the day-to-day, -day, the Ace of Cups in reverse is you just need a hot bath, a hot shower, because you know that you're going to get up and do it all over again. So if you're dealing with a drug addict here, and this isn't you, or let's say you are one, I'm sorry, this person is going to continue to use and they're going to continue to be in this codependent relationship. Fighting. Uh, one man, two women. Two men, one woman. Age difference doesn't matter. Again, so we was like, I'm feeding this every day in my connection, these inner circle people, and y'all just need a baptism here. So many getting baptized. I know that's happening. How many Jim and I here are getting baptized lately again, or re, you know, because that's what you're doing. You're like, okay, I'm going to accept you, you, and you, and you. It's probably even like, ooh, cool, cards are flying out of that skin. Like, I'm going to, which is really cool. But, it's very tedious. So, let's get back to that while I'm picking the cards up off the floor. Let's get back to that tedious. Five of Wands. Mini-me. Just the three of us. Happy. You guys are doing good. I think you really are in your little inner circle. And the Eight of Pentacles. Um, yeah. Yep. It's winter. Kick them back. Good thing on the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, I don't, I'm just like, wait, let me think about it. Because it ain't want to be wrong, but it is skill and effort. So, Gemini, you're very talented. And if you apply yourself with energy, your efforts will be rewarded. Right? Sounds good. So, if you apply your efforts with energy... Or if you apply it with, you know, doing, you're doing good, you got the skills, your efforts will be rewarded. Because there's where we lean on friends and family. It's drinking, it's it's dining, it's, it's getting together for a meal and, and just, you know, supporting each other. Again, I said, here's that mini-me. Um, teenagers love. This represents love in the physical form. But it's not really, it's like, 
I'm going to have to redo this reading. I am not centered. And if I wasn't, I may just go ahead and, and, and run it. Because I think that you love the idea of your efforts being rewarded here. <laughs> and so do I. So we'll just leave it there. I just want to keep going, but I'll stop. If your efforts will be rewarded here. Mid-January 2024. You heard it here first. Share the video. Like it. Subscribe if you want to. And definitely we'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next tarot reading. Thank you, Gemini Collective. Bye-bye.